a few weeks ago I made a Sapili cabinet top and if you'd like to see that project just click on the link right here. Now whenever you make anything you always have cutoffs and cutoffs like these especially because it's a beautiful wood like Sapili will just hang around the shop forever. I just don't want to throw something like that away. So what I started to do is make these frame systems. Now it's a frame with a panel that fits inside the frame and you have a perfect reveal all the way around the painting. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll make three frames and I'm going to give one of them away on my website. So if you'd like to win one, just visit johnpeters.com and you can learn all about it. So let's start making these frame systems. The first thing I'm going to do is rip the boards to width. And because this is a one by six, I can get four pieces just light of an inch and a quarter. So maybe a 30 second light. And the one by eights, I'm going to rip them at an inch and a half. With all the molding cut, the next step is to cut a rabbit into the molding. And I'll use the table saw to do that. So basically I want to cut a section out of the wood like this. So this part right here will be removed. I've set the saw fence to 9 16 and I've raised the blade a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to run all the molding through to make my first cut. I've raised the blade and I've adjusted the fence to three quarters of an inch. Now I'm ready for the second cut. I've cut a 45 degree angle on every piece of molding. Now I'm going to take the shortest piece of molding, bring it over to the chop saw, and cut another 45 and also put a line on my fence and that way every piece of molding will be the exact same size. This will be my stop line for every cut. Well I finished cutting 45s on all the molding and I've already assembled one of the frames. So let's assemble another one. I'll bring the camera closer and also wanted to mention I'm using inch long nails in the nail gun and a little wood glue. And I'm just going to hold the miter tight together. It's a good idea to get rid of any wood glue with a wet paper towel or a wet rag before it sets up. Now that all the frames are assembled, the next step is to cut panels for the insides of the frames. And for that I'm also using cutoffs. These are cutoffs from cabinets that I've built. And it's furniture grade birch plywood. The openings of the frame measure 5 and 3 16 of an inch. So I've cut the panels at 5 and an eighth of an inch square. Now the next step is to cut a rabbit in the panel. And what that will do is bring the surface of the panel almost flush with the surface of the front of the frame. Well, now you can see how the panel fits right into the frame. And I like to set the surface of the panel about a sixteenth of an inch back from the front of the frame. And I do that because sometimes I like to glue canvas to the panel or sometimes you get a heavy buildup of paint 
or sometimes I even like to glue paper to the panel. Now to attach the panel to the frame, that's simply done with two screws in the back. Well, I let the stain dry overnight, and then this morning I gave the frames a quick coat of lacquer, just using a spray can, which is fine for a small project like this. Now, also last night I did a little painting of the Navasink River, uh, just from a picture I took from my phone, and that's kind of the fun thing about painting small like this. You can sort of paint with a very casual approach, and sometimes you get a nice little painting. Now, if you'd like to win one of these frames, just check out johnpeters.com and I'll put a post up and I'll put the uh, how you can win it in the post. And if you don't win, uh, just try again because once every week or so I'm going to give something away on that website and it's called Win Something from the Studio and you'll be able to win uh, a frame or maybe a small painting or a little easel like this. Uh, so anyway, I hope you'll check it out. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.